While you were putting off registering your drone out of principle, you rebel, you may have missed all the transportation stories this year. Welcome to a special edition of In Case You Missed It, where we round out oh, five it up! Where we round up our very favorite transportation stories since we first started obsessing about drones on this show in June. That was the best day on this job ever. I don't know why we do anything other than go big on this one, because it doesn't get any bigger than engineering a flyby of Pluto. Am I right, space nerd? Three, two, one. <laughs> NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its closest pass by Pluto, coming within 7,800 miles of the surface on Tuesday. And these happy NASA nerds are making my day. My social media accounts are blowing up. I have to ask the question, when will we see color data? Happy squirm. Now, besides putting out the call for more astronauts, because they love us, NASA is jumping on the drone craze because it'll let scientists see even more of space. Engineers at NASA are developing autonomous drones that can be used to explore other planets. Not quite a quadcopter, these prototypes are being called extreme access flyers and will gather samples from places rovers cannot access. But first, we've got to get more satellites up, stat. A bunch of tech heavyweights are building a modern spruce goose, except, you know, this one actually flies. It's called the Strato Launch and is being built right now in the Mojave Desert. Once complete, it will be the largest plane ever built, and the hope is will be employed as a launch system for rockets. Builders plan to strap a satellite to the back of the plane, take off, then launch the rocket into space from midair. Meanwhile, more Earth dwellers were either getting teeny tiny drones, or drones that hide the rotors because exposed rotors are so last year, or they're making it cooler yet with animal shapes. Researchers had even more fun with the aerial stunts, training UAVs to work together to construct bridges. The eggheads at ETH Zurich have trained quadcopters to weave a suspension bridge that can hold a human. It's the first time a group of drones have completed a task like this autonomously. Which begs for my favorite drone moment of them all, the moment this fisherman was not having it and fired off a beautiful cast. Moment of Zen 1, drone guy, Zip. And there was the time some kid thought a handgun and drone go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Holy shit, right? But that wasn't the big news of the year for drones. It was more what researchers and probably our government started doing to make drones and freaking robots help each other. This new UAV from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab can fly through forests at up to 30 miles per hour without touching a thing. It's all thanks to CSAIL's new obstacle avoidance algorithm. Unlike existing methods that scan for obstacles at multiple distances, this one only looks for trouble at a range of 10 meters. Doing so lets the drone react in just 8.3 milliseconds and blow through the woods at breakneck speeds. If all the UAV options weren't enough, we finally got serious about slapping humans into jetpacks. GoFast lightweight carbon fiber jetpack is an update on old military jetpack designs and uses compressed hydrogen peroxide for lift. But flight is currently limited to about 30 seconds, so don't expect any rocketeering comrades anytime soon. And for those of you waiting for transportation tech that could actually help out the here and now, Take a look at the semi-truck that wants to keep you safer on the road. Thanks to a new system developed by Samsung, drivers will soon be able to see clear through semis. It's called the safety truck and incorporates a front-facing camera and digital display to provide a view of what's ahead. For regular electric cars, well, Tesla posted a video of a charging prototype autonomously finding the port, and we are all uncomfortable now. We remain uncomfortable, Tesla. Land Rover is making towing things a whole lot safer. The company is showcasing its transparent trailer concept system. It uses a camera mounted to the second vehicle to beam a video feed directly into the SUV's rear view mirror. The trailer includes pressure sensitive mats to let the driver know if content shift in transit or per the video, 
one of your many thoroughbred horses moves. That'll all work out if our cars aren't hacked first, like Wired proved can be done while you're driving on the freeway. Just nothing. If you own a late model Chrysler vehicle with the optional Uconnect entertainment system, be prepared. Security researchers discovered a dangerous flaw in the software that could allow hackers to take control of the vehicle while you're driving it. And we're talking everything from your AC to the steering and the brakes. Guys, I need the accelerator to work again. You're doomed. Seriously, it's dangerous. That is terrifying. And Google released even more great jaunts off-road, like the route climbers take up Yosemite's famous mountains. That's right, now some of the world's most famous climbers are showing you how real climbing is done, and they did it by hauling Google Street View cameras along. So you should be able to click your way up the route and see the position and the climbing and go pitch by pitch all the way up the mountain. Now swing your leg around like a real climber. Like this? No. Jesus, you shouldn't even be up here. Fair point. And finally, let's be real. All the transportation innovation doesn't matter much if it can't bring us what we most long for. We're just waiting for the hoverboards to really come out. So by now, you've probably seen this teaser video of a hoverboard from Lexus. The luxury car company says it's magnetically levitated and cooled with nitrogen, but check out its slick design. Lexus also claims that it's rideable right now. Granted, you have to be on the right surface with the right metal underneath. And this has nothing to do with science, but remains one of my favorite stories of the year. It was a story about kegels for men, and we got a bunch of Engadget's fellas to demonstrate exactly what that terrifying future could look like. Oh, new high school. That reaction times a billion. Thanks from the video team for being such great sports with us. Have a great holiday.